Good day, my name is Keith McKinnon. Uh, I'm a member of the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts uh, Museum and Library Committee. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk about two different types of swords. Uh, basically they are one and the same, and that is a Knight Templar Commandery uh, membership sword. These were purchased by the Sir Knight themselves uh, as part of their equipment to be outfitted as a Sir Knight in the Commandery. Not all Sir Knights were officers, uh, many of them purchased their own uh, equipment because uh, in the days uh, commanders did a lot of marching and parades and other public events and so the individual would have his own uniform not only to attend these events but also to attend a commandery meeting in full uniform. Now being a collector I've come across many items in eBay and SDs and many other auction sites and auctions that sometimes label commandery swords incorrectly. And I have two versions of these today. One is a silver one and one is a gold. And I prim primarily picked the gold one to point out that this is not a past commander sword. Now in most cases a past commander sword would be gold or silver. But what point out uh, what uh, is different of a regular Sir Knight sword than a commander sword is that the handle would be white in most cases. But again, not in all cases. This is where Masonic research comes into play. Now this one here pretty much is brass now, but it would have had a gold washing done over the brass in most cases. Each commander had their own regulations. So they picked out how the hilt would look, the pommel, the handle, the cross on the handle, the scabbard, the decorations on the scabbard. Also, with some, what would be designed on the blade. Each one of those, along with the hat, baldric, belt, and jacket, would be in their regulations of that particular commander's uniform. The silver one, depending on how old it is, would be nickel plated. This one here is a rather hard one to find because this particular commandery uh, probably used all black and this one here is a metal scabbard compared to the leather scabbards. It is painted black and is made by the Bruce Regalia Company of Worcester, Massachusetts, which at the time was a small time regalia company uh, situated in Worcester. It is a very hard to find sword, not because of the sword itself, but because of the regalia company, the Bruce Regalia Company. This would have been a silver wash or a silver or a nickel wash or a nickel overlay placed on it. Later on, it would have been silver. Um, the gold one, uh, again, most of the time will have a white handle, which would indicate a past command. Black handles indicated a Sir Knight. But if you're going to sell or collect Masonic swords, I would highly recommend purchasing a couple of the books that are on the market currently. One is by an excellent book by John Hamilton on uh, fraternal swords. Uh, there are a number of other book, books on swords that explain the regalia companies and the designs of the swords. But always keep in mind that Regalia companies made their own regalia. They may have had 15 versions of this particular sword in their catalog. Also, a commandery also had their own regulations of what the sword looked like. So, the same commandery in the next town over would be outfitted totally different than the next. Also, a white handled sword in some cases may not be Masonic, may also be used in the uh, council may also be used in the Royal Arch Chapter, may also be used by the Eastern Star, uh, it could also be used by the uh, Scottish Rite, and in some cases could be used by another fraternity as well. Uh, also, there were some particular commanderies that were outfitted to do special tactics at certain triennial conclaves, and thus they had certain uniforms made 
particularly just for those triennial uh, tactics that they did. So the next time you want to sell Masonic Sword or collect one, the best thing to do is do some research, look for the regalia companies, manufacturing stamp. Also, in most cases, it has the individual's name and also the commandery's name on the inside. And if not, the best thing to do is to uh, try to find some Masonic books on swords, uh, both new and old, and do some research on those. Thank you.